Hey, it is finally painting day here at the Final Village Garage. The Great Pumpkin is finally going to get its final color on this car, back to the original Autumn Bronze. Now we're going to do this in different stages because I don't want to paint the whole thing, and clearly, definitely not ready to be painted yet, but all the metalwork, prep work, and sanding is good, but we need to get things masked off with the idea, like I said, of saying this many times, no tape lines and no blend lines is the goal. Now we're going to have to have some tape lines where we're going to hide them in an area that are not going to be visible or we can't find them. Um, the idea of the, uh, the tape line thing has many problems, I've already discussed it once, but the tape line, one, they're unsightly, and two, it gives an opportunity for paint, the paint to start peeling from, so I don't like them. Um, that's one of the things we're going to try to hide this. So what we're going to do first, though, in order to do this, since this is a metallic paint, I want the whole car assembled by the time we go to a painter. There's no way that I'm not a good enough painter that I can bolt the doors on, the fenders on, and everything, and get the paint all laid on without having a dry line by the time it's all said and done. So I'm going to break this up in stages. Stage one is going to be as simple as this. We're going to paint this whole door opening all the way around to here where we did the uh, seams in. We're not going to paint this part of the door jam. Reason being is then we'll have a tape line here. So we're going to paint this door jam section and the quarter panel at the same time. So it's going to be a different part of the process, a different part of the stage. But what we can do though is we can hide the tape line right here on that seam that we did the seam sealing on. And the same thing across the whole quarter panel down here to the rocker panel. We're going to put our tape right there. And we're going to focus on painting that rocker panel and the door opening and the doors over here. We're going to paint the inside of the door shelves. And once both sides are painted, then I can bolt the doors back on and get those lined back up and then move on to the next stage. So, but first things first, we need to mask this thing off so that we get the paint where it needs to be. Here we go, mask off, ready for paint. Got all front end covered with plastic, got the paper here covering up all the vital bits. Now I covered up the door open to help reduce the amount of dust that's blowing around in the car, but we're gonna get some overspray on the roof, which is fine because vinyl top car, we don't really care. So it's got a little bit of overspray shooting on that, not a problem. And we're gonna hit the inside of the door jam here like we discussed, door jam here, the cowl panel, gonna take care of all that all the way down to here. You'll see here where the fender bolts on and mounts up. That's all going to be painted. And then that lower rocker panel there, all the way clear to the back. Now, if your eyes are really good and sharp, you'll start seeing little spots of bare metal here and there. Not the end of the world. It just barely sand it through because this is only just one coat of epoxy. I didn't do a whole lot of body working on the door jam. Still don't necessarily need to. They're all sandblasted and prepped. But what we're going to do first, though, we're going to put a sealer coat on. Um, and cover up this entire area we plan to paint with one coat of an epoxy reduced with a little bit of acetone. Uh, that makes it considered a sealer coat. We're going to hit the whole thing with a nice sealer, let it sit about 20 minutes. Then we're going to put our base color on. And we'll do the same thing here to the doors. We're just going to paint the inside of the doors here, around to here. Uh, we're just going to do this. Now remember, your door panel, door card, whatever you want to call it, comes down to about where these holes are at. So you want to at least get it painted up to here. You don't got to paint the entire door show. I don't plan on because... I've cleaned these doors out really good, but let's be honest, there's still going to be dirt that may blow around in there, so I'm not going to try to shoot any air down inside the door. We're going to focus just on the outside edges of the door and try to get these hinges painted. I paint, I'm going to paint the hinges in the door wide open position because that's about the only way you see the door. When it's open, you can't put your head in here when it's shut, so I'm going to focus on painting it with the hinges in the open position. I did this here. I'm going to hit this once, once, and I'll flip these down, but that kind of gets you the idea how we're going to try to get this thing all painted and make it look good the first pass. Okay, paint's all mixed up. Got the epoxy primer mixed with a little bit of acetone. That's how this one gets reduced. Check your directions, whatever paint system you're using, but this here reduces the 10% acetone. And that's what makes it a sealer at that point. Flows really nice. Gonna load up here on the gun. Of course, put a mask on, because this stuff is bad news. It's not good for you, because I want to live forever and keep building many, many, many more birds. So once you get that all loaded up, we're gonna hit here the edges of the doors, do the door jam on the patch side and the driver's side. All right, well, here goes nothing. Wish me luck, I guess, maybe. And then since I can't talk with the mask on, I'll have to play you some really cool music.
there you go. It looks a whole lot better. Just one color gray. It actually has a little bit of a gloss to it. Now this sprays out really nice. And this is a great base now when I put anything on any kind of like bare metal spots that I might have missed, uh, body filler, or anything. It won't bleed back through. This is a great base anytime doing any painting. When it comes to sealer coats, people have their opinions that aren't always necessary. But I find that the paint just goes on so much better and cleaner. And this is going to look really good. Like I was talking about before, if you ever climb underneath a car at a car show, sometimes you'll see they don't paint the bottom of the rockers. You could tell when I paint it the advantage of the height, especially with a gravity feed gun, to get that rocker panel painted. And even up in here, uh, I'm going to paint this back to body color. Yes, there's a big chrome trim piece that goes in here for the weather stripping, but there's this little tiny strip. You might be able to see this autumn bronze. So, uh, again, I've seen a lot of cars or car shows. You poke around here, you might see the cars a different color. Well, that may be why they didn't paint this up in here. So, let that flash off. I'll go ahead and hit the doors and the other side. And then once this sets off for a while, we'll get some color and clear on it. Well, let's take a look what that looks like now. Laid out pretty good. Now, this is just the door jams. And you see how it lays down real nice. And this is actually cure almost with a kind of a shine to it because I did stop at the 400 mark on the door jams when sanding this. Um, but looking pretty good. So let this sit for about 25 minutes or so. And I'll go ahead and put some color on it. When you're looking there, this is a color that, as you can see, it's going to be autumn bronze. I've got this all stirred up, shaked up, ready to go. Uh, this is the one-to-one -one mix. Now, I'm going to guesstimate the amount that we're going to need. We're going to put two to three coats on, maybe 12 ounces to do the door jams and the uh, sides of the car. So we're going to try that first and see if that gets us what we need. And hopefully that it does. Let this sit for another 20 30 minutes, put the clear on. But let's get some of this mixed up. We got the orange paint ready to go in the paint can, ready to rock. We'll go ahead and get the air hose hooked up. But I want to do the rocker panel first. So I started thinking, check out the air hose when you hook it up. You know, the car is jacked up off the floor. The hose almost hits the floor still. So it's going to be kind of a restricted axis. We got to lean the paint gun back a little further. So this paint gets slow. It's not going to feed because it didn't make up a whole lot of paint. But we'll go ahead and hit this first and work our way up the side of the car. So let's make this thing happen. First coat is on. I'll let that sit probably about 15 minutes or so. It's going to flash off pretty quick. It's about 80 degrees here today, but that stuff actually lays out really nice. The metallic kind of lays out pretty even. So I really like it how it's actually going on. Still see it's a little bit wet there, but uh, that should set off pretty quick. Went ahead and did the door jams just the same. First coat on those. I'm probably just going to do just two coats on this. It's actually covering very, very nicely. And I'll tell you, that's one pass. I moved pretty quick. So, um, like it this stuff's gonna actually work really nice in that color man i tell you what that's just gonna look fantastic when it's all said and done so we'll let this sit for a while mix up a little more paint and put one more coat of the autumn bronze on let's hit some clear all right it's been about 15 minutes this stuff's flashed off really nice to the touch i'm gonna touch it up here where the, i don't need to worry about but it, it does this tip nothing at all so definitely been plenty of time to flash off so go ahead with our second coat here and back to some really fun music
all the base coats on. We're going to do a little check here with the uh, iPhone 11 here, sun gun all built into one. And look at the paint. Make sure it looks good before you put our top coat on. Two coats of color. Fantastic coverage. Use the gray primer so it's easy to cover. Now, if I was painting this car white like I did the Trans Marorado, I would have used a white epoxy primer because it covers a whole lot quicker and even. But uh, Autumn Bronze, I don't think it was worth tinting or trying to come with a different color primer. The light gray is a fantastic base, nice and even. Another reason why we had the sealer coat. And look at my mask. The little filters are turning orange. So this stuff does get in the air. Door is open. I don't have a lot of overspray because we're not doing a whole lot of painting. But keep that in mind. Uh, protect yourself when doing this stuff. I'm not always the best. I'm going to continue to try to do better about that because, again, I want to keep building these birds for many more years and keep many more coming and putting them back on the road. So let's get this thing going once over with the light. Make sure it's ready to top coat with a clear coat. And then we're going to wrap this thing up. Now, you can take your camera here and turn the light on. And it actually reflects in there. But what we're looking for, I'll go up here where I didn't put the paint on real heavy. You can see how the gray kind of bleeds through. At this point, that wouldn't be enough coverage if you're going to leave it as our final coat. I'm going to come back and actually tape off and paint the roof separately. But let's go ahead and check all the work that I've done here on this. And coverage is great on this stuff. I tell you, it lays out really, really nice. So really liking that color. And here's where I did the seams there. As you can tell now, once it's all set up here, put the clear on that, that's going to look really clean and really simple. Um, that's kind of how you guys saw I did the seam ceiling video, the one before. If not, check the video before and see how I got that all nice and clean and simple. And we'll do down here just the same. Now there's a little bit of dirt poking through, but this is the rocker panel. So the great thing about this is good practice, learning how to do some painting, but that color is just fantastic. And the clear is not even on it yet. Um, looks pretty good. I think our coverage is going to be just fine. I'll go, ahead, I'll go ahead and check out the whole car, but you get the idea. Um, we'll go ahead and ready to say mix up some clear and hit. I'm probably going to do just two coats of clear on the jams, but well, I'd say that looks super bronzy here in the garage. Can't imagine how awesome it's going to look out there in the sun. All right, clears in the gun, mask is on the face. This is when it's really going to show what we've done and see how it's going to look. And here goes nothing. I don't know about you that looks a whole lot more better than uh, rust dust dirt and wrong colored stuff but uh all the edging came out great super happy with the results doors looking phenomenal now as you can see as i tried to paint this imagine trying to paint these things on the car i'm just not flexible limber or skilled enough as a painter to get that to do what i want but now that i've got all this all done you'll see the next part of the process we'll get these things bolted back on i got a few things i want to experiment with I normally bolt these doors on, put the glass and regulate it all back in the door because I have a, in my idea that it weighs the door down and it actually causes it to tilt. I never proved that theory. I've always just assembled the door and then put it on. So I'm going to put this door shell on bare and then we're going to check the lines and then I'm going to put all the weight in the door and see if it really makes a difference or does it really matter. Because uh, we went and spent a lot of time, remember with that body line down on the side of this car, last thing I want to do is bolt the doors and I put the glass in, she's sagging in the back. So i'm loving it this color is phenomenal it's gonna look great on the entire car i can't imagine in the sun how that's gonna pop and really look really really look sharp back to the original color so i will have to say this is one of the first autumn bronze cars i've seen in person loving the color and i hope to get the rest of the car looking this good 
really soon. Right, before we wrap the video up, I went ahead and pulled the masking tape off. It's in about 45 minutes. I want to let that paint good and dry to the touch. I can touch it now, and it doesn't really do anything. There's a little bit of a dry line here, but that's okay. The only part I needed to get really pretty was here in the door jam. And look at that. That just laid out super slick. And again, I only finished just with 400 grit sandpaper because it's the door jams, but it laid out really nice. This is one... Oh, heavy coat of clear i didn't get carried away it covered fantastically and i really love this color but enough of that the reason i wanted to show you what was going on was you look at this here this is the door jam now a little bit of blow through here i kind of messed up my masking tape but here's what's going to happen now when we go to do now i can tape this rocker panel off i don't got to try to climb underneath this car and paint this and the entire body at the same time i'm only going to be responsible from this line up we're going to hide the tape line right in that body seam so you won't see it and it won't have a snagging edge it'll start peeling the paint so it should really do really nice so just scuff ever so slightly the paint there in that opening and the only place you might see a tape line here is in the door jam this little radius right here the other tape line we're going to hide it right here in that seam so you can tell now that's the plan we're going to try to paint this quarter panel without any tape lines but again so when i have the doors back on i have that bell door be open paint the door jam just rest the door shut, and then we'll paint the entire side of the car. So, kind of get to the get the visual. Look at that dash. That, that just looks fantastic inside here. Steering wheel looks great. Loving the idea now of the autumn bronze dash. I'm telling you, it's really going to be a kind of a unique car. It's basically subtle touches of custom, not over the top, but definitely not how it came from the factory. This is going to be kind of a one-off special car. And if you look down here underneath the car, painting that rocker panel all the way down to the bottom really gets an awesome effect. Spend some time getting it painted all the way. I can't tell you how many cars I look at and they miss that. And the entire detailed underbody on this car, you guys saw that in the very beginning. All the stuff it took to get there, it really sets it off. So that's why I like doing it this way. Cars are all assembled now. So as soon as I get this thing painted, I'll tell you what, it's on the ground and running really quick. Now, when it comes to painting cars, experience is probably the best thing you're going to get. Get a practice panel. Get some really cheap paint practice on something else um, and I, I do not claim to be an expert painter I get by I do what I can to make it happen this is going to look really really great and remember we're painting this thing in a garage so we're going to have some dust and some imperfections but very little I showed you the edges of that door they actually look really nice so good day out today 80 degrees no wind um, no bugs are still early enough in the season. The bugs aren't bad yet, but I need to get this thing done if I'm going to try to paint it here in the garage because I'm running out of time because it's going to get to the point where bugs, wind, and pollen, and the nasty stuff is going to get into the paint. So home garage paint job is going to have a window, and I'm getting close to the end. So I need to get my button gear, get this thing back together, and get it painted. But we're going to keep dragging you along, grab the camera, show you how we're getting it done, making it happen. We're going to hide our tape lines. I'm going to keep working on this and hope that we don't have any blend lines because especially with metallic paint it's just it's a mess that's a whole nother story for a different day but nonetheless we'll call it quits today let the stuff flash off and dry stack it all back up pull the back and black bird back in get back out here get the edges of the fenders done get them bolted on and keep moving forward on this paint job so hope you guys help this stuff is you know, entertaining appreciate the insight how to's not to do's don't why and whatever's but having a lot of fun i'm all jacked up now because look at this this thing's coming together and like the, the paint job is like like the last of the big major thresholds or milestones. And after that, it's like just the little fine details, putting all the chrome and glass and everything back in. goes pretty quick. Not that those things aren't important, but the paint job, it just, wow. I can't wait to see this thing all done. And I hope you guys want to stick around and see it just the same. So please subscribe, share with your friends, grab the camera, and uh, we'll catch you next time.